first home buyers take note. We did a video on first home buyers some time back that really went really, really well. I was surprised at how many views that we'd had. So obviously there's a strong uh, interest in people wanting to buy their first home, not only here in Australia, but abroad as well. So a research was done recently out of Sydney and Melbourne that it takes four and a half years for first home buyers to save for a deposit. A, we've got standard living costs rising. Unemployment is slowly rising here in Australia. Wages growth has been fairly stagnant. And we've got the problem with wanting to buy our first home or maybe wanting to buy an investment property. Either or, I'm gonna go back to the old rule that I was taught when I was young. If you save 20% of your net income from the time you start working, the growth in your savings plan will be exponential. And what will happen with that is this, is it'll give you options which give you choice. Because first home buyers go into the market, the banks now are getting a lot harder in relation to what they're requiring from first home buyers especially. They, the 10% deposit rule, to be honest, is not as strong as it used to be. It's now more near 20. They like to see more equity driven by first home buyers into their first purchase. So the game's changing. That means that you need to change. For, for those of you that are young and have just acquired your first job or first employment position, I suggest strongly that you work on the 20 rule. And the 20 rule is saving 20% of your net income every pay period. Do that, you'll find things will change for you very, very quickly. The other thing to take note of is that when you're looking to purchase, make sure that your aspirations are in line with your pocket. They're in line with your financial position. So a lot of people tend to overcommit themselves and make it very hard if there's any job changes later on. My advice for you will be still aspire. And if you want to, most people buy, 80% of the people that buy new homes stay within a 10 to 20 kilometer radius of where their parents live. And all for the obvious reasons, which is quite logical. But there may be areas outside that zone that you can have a look at to have some potential growth. And some of the factors I'll give you some consideration on is this is if I was a first home buyer buying today, I would be looking, first of all, where the government is spending their infrastructure money, where they're building new schools, new rail, new shops, etc. The other thing that I'd be looking at is where there is some industrial parkland not too far away, where head offices of major corporations might locate. And the other thing that I'd look at is the transport viability, where there's freeway access, major highway access, etc., for you to get to and from the major, major places like the CBD of Melbourne or the CBD of New York, whatever it may be. Access, accessibility, not only by public transport, but by road transport is a real priority as well. Thanks for listening.